all my secrets for getting your brows on perfectly and looking great no matter what you have to work with. Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a brow tutorial. So this tutorial is gonna be for mature beginners, but of course anyone can use it. As you get older, your brow hairs grow in sparser and sparser so that you may have still the brow shape in your hair, but there are very few and far between hairs there. A lot of people did pluck their brows to a super thin line. I didn't do that. I was never really much of a brow plucker, but because of that, a lot of people have very thin brows. And you know, the trend in brows these days is for a, a bold older, thicker brow, and so people who are older want to have that look as well, but it's hard to get it when you don't have that much actual brow hair to work with. Now, as I've said, I do have a fair amount of brow hair, mainly because I use a brow growth serum, and I love my brow growth serum. If you want to try one, the one that I use and swear by is Revita Brow, which is awesome, and it's got more of a doe foot applicator, so it gives you more of a thick application, so it helps to grow the hairs back in a little bit of a thicker way. So looking at my brows with no makeup on them. You can see that I do still have quite a few brow hairs. You can also see that my brows are definitely not twin sisters. They're kind of like distant cousins. My one brow has a higher arch and it has a much longer tail. The other brow, even though I use the brow serum on that one too, the tail just has stopped growing. And both of them don't really grow too many strong brow hairs at the inner corners. So they both need a little bit of shaping and I do like them to look a lot more like sisters than distant cousins when I do them. So this is the final result as I've done it today. And I think you can see the difference in the before to the after is that they're both thicker, they're both bolder, they both have more of a similar shape and more of a standard tail length, and they both start in a little bit closer towards the center. So this is the brow pencil that I'm gonna to use today. This is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP in Dark Ash Blonde, and I like a really microfine brow pencil, so this definitely fits the bill. It has a really, really super tiny tip, and another thing that I like about this one is the packaging. The stripe right here shows you that this end is the pencil end. The other end of this pencil doesn't have a spool this one has a little paddle brush and I love these little paddle brushes for making the brows look soft and velvety but you do also need a spoolie so you know most people have a spoolie just on another product the other thing I like about this is that it's a little creamier than a lot of the brow products a lot of them are super hard and it's hard to make a mark and you know when your hands aren't as steady you're older you're trying to hold a magnifying mirror and get in there and see what you're doing it can be frustrating if you have a brow pencil that's just too hard to work with and it's really hard to leave a mark. So I really like this one because it was just a little bit more creamy than some of the other ones and that also gives it the ability to just blend out a little bit more. The other product I'm gonna use in this video is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is just a clear, like a brow glue. It really does work to glue your brows into place but it doesn't make them feel super sticky or really crunchy and it is perfectly clear so you're not gonna see it. But the the nice thing about it is because it does coat your brows, it does make them look a little bit darker and most people can use that. So I'm not using like a colored brow mascara. You could use a colored like brow mascara type product. So in the tutorial when I use this, if you prefer like a colored brow mascara, you could put that on instead of this. So let's get this tutorial started. The first thing I do when I'm grooming my brows is I take a Q-tip and I just run it over the brows to remove any skincare or any sunscreen that I've put on. That will help the brow products to adhere better and to look more natural on the skin. To define the shape of your brow it's really easy you just need to mark three points on your brow and it's easy to find them because you can use your face as a guide so you just take your brow pencil you line it up to the side of your nose and then you line it up at the inner corner of your eye then you just press the brow pencil into the skin there and make a slight upward flick and that marks where the beginning of your brow should be lay the pencil by the side of your nose again, but you angle it out so that it lands between your pupil and the far edge of your iris. Make a little dot at the top of your brow, and that's where the top of your arch should be. Lay the pencil by the side of your nose again, and this time you change the angle to the outer corner of your eye, and you make a little mark where your tail should be. 
Don't worry if your mark looks too high or too dark. You can always correct that later. Starting at the inner corner, your strokes are going to be in an upward direction. So you just place your pencil and give it a little bit of pressure and then flick up while releasing the pressure. You want to start not drawing a straight line across the bottom of your brow because that's just going to look a little bit too heavy and drawn on. You just want to place your pencil in the spaces between the brow hairs that you have and just give it a little flick up. Then most people will have a spot there where their brow will naturally arch upward and this is a place where you do want to fill that in and kind of bring a straight line across but again you don't want to draw one continuous straight line. Placing the pencil and doing a little flicking motion up and out towards the arch of the brow and that's how you'll fill in underneath but keeping it very very close you don't want to do too much filling underneath. So if you're going to add thickness to your brows you want to do it mainly from the top and just fill in a little bit underneath where you need to correct the arch and make it a little bit straighter. So I'm just going to sketch a very faint line across the top of my brow just to get the thickness that I want. Then I'm going to brush all the brow hairs down. I'm going to rub out that line with the spoolie just to blend it in a little bit more. That's going to be my guide where I'm going to make my next hair-like strokes which are going to go in a downward angled direction. And you just keep making those little brow hairs until you've got everything filled in from the inner corner to the arch. Then you're going to continue down from the arch to the tail making angled marks in a downward direction. I'm going to rub out that line with the spoolie just to blend it in a little bit more. Then you're going to take your spoolie and comb your brows back up and now you're going to make hair-like strokes along the bottom edge in the opposite direction. So they're going to be upward strokes until you reach the end of the tail. A lot of mature people need to use a magnifying mirror. When you're checking your brows it's always good to take a step away from the magnifying mirror, look in a regular mirror, and assess. So the next step is just blending and softening and I love the little paddle brush at the end of this pencil for doing that. Use it with basically the same flicking motions that you use to draw on the hairs. So then I just take the brow gel and I start back combing my brows because I want to get the gel on both sides. That'll help it really adhere and help the brows to stick. And then I comb everything straight up at the inner corner, continue down from the arch to the tail along with the grain of the brow. And then I take the q-tip and I just roll it across the flat part of my brow, gluing the brows into place. That'll also remove any excess brow gel so that you won't have any clumps so that your brows will look perfect. So here's my first brow done and I'm going to do the second one on camera for you. But the first one is the easier one for me to do because it has the longer tail, it has the higher arch, and just to line it up and make sure that your brows are at the same level at the top. So by creating that shadow behind the brows it can help to define your brows and give them the shape that you're looking for and then be sure to define your brow hairs either with a colored brow gel or a clear brow gel and glue them into place. Then one last check in the mirror to make sure that I'm fairly symmetrical that everything is where it needs to be. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did go ahead and give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Links to all the products will be in the info box below the video. And definitely if you give this method a try, let me know how it worked out for you and let me know what other tutorials you might be interested in seeing. So that's it for today's video, everybody. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.